Rita Hewitt, La Artistino. As you can see, I'm still colouring in these two pages from Kirby Roseanne's Mythomorphia. I've posted a few pictures as I've been going along and I've had a few requests for tutorials. So in response to those, I'm going to show you today how I colour in the snow. The colours that I use for the snow are uh, light cobalt turquoise. Now if you've got an old set of Faber-Castell polychromous pencils, and these are all Faber-Castell polychromous pencils, the light cobalt turquoise used to be called aquamarine. So if you've got an aquamarine in your set, it's exactly the same colour. They just renamed it. Okay, we've also got this poor little thing which is actually light thylo blue. And my two darkest pencils that I'm going to be using is Helio Blue Reddish and Indotharan Blue. To start off with, I'll show you how those colours perform together. Now this is a blank, well almost blank piece of paper in my sketchbook. This is just my muck around book. As you can see I tear pages out, etc. I'll start off by showing you how these colours perform together. Now, if I take the light thylo blue, and I'll just put a layer of that down. Not too heavy, not too light. As you can see, I'm making little circles here so that you don't see the scratchy marks of how the pen, which direction the pencil was going in. I'll add the light cobalt turquoise and I'll do a little area where it's fading out first. And this is a much warmer blue. Just blend that in. And now we will do the other two colours, which are the Helio Blue, which is the next darkest. Probably did a bit too much that, but it doesn't matter. I'm going back now with the light Thylo Blue and blending both of those colours in. Finally, with the light cobalt turquoise, and go over the whole lot. Now, if you want even darker shadows for right at the edges, that's when you bring in the indotharian blue, and you just do a little dark border wherever it's meeting another pla another plane in front of it. And just just you leave that pretty small. So that's basically the colours I use to do the snow with. Now let's put them into practice on the picture. I've chosen this little area here where we've got our ice witch and the bunny rabbit and the wolf up there. Okay, so it's the one on the second page and we'll be colouring in the area around the ice switch. So again, we start off with this light thylo blue and we're just leaving the top part of the rocks where the, the snow is uh, white. We'll begin by just going right down to the base and colouring but not quite up to the top, so about two thirds up. Now it looks to me like this rock is exposed so I'm going to leave that there's snow up here, but this looks just like the rocks, so I'll leave that and I'll colour that grey afterwards. But we're not doing that right now, we're concentrating on the, on the rocks. So all around here, and I'll leave this edge exposed. Around this side as well, we'll do the same. For extra points, don't go too right to the edges here. 
just leave a, a tiny little margin of the white paper showing through and that's to show just where the light is hitting the edges or we'll just make it look a bit more glistenery and snowyish. Okay, let's do the ones down here too. That's underneath the back. So again, just colour down to the edge of where the snow is hanging. And I'm leaving that little bit white too and all around the top here white. Except for underneath her but I'll just colour that in to show that she's sitting on it, not floating above it. Okay, that's about as far as we need to go, I think. So I'm not putting too much pressure on the pencil, just enough to get a good layer, but I'm not pushing down the tooth of the pencil. Sorry, I'm not pushing down the tooth of the paper. Okay, now we'll go to the lighter colour, the light cobalt turquoise. And we're going to give just over the top of that, again, being sure to conserve a white border. For the um, the top bit of the of the light phyllo blue and just extend a little bit over the top and then softly blend it into the white so it's a soft border and not a harsh sort of lineation between the um, the white and the blue just blend it in nice and soft you don't have to go all the way down to the bottom with the uh, light um, cobalt turquoise because you're going to be in the bottom with the other colours. Right now grab your Helio Blue Reddish. This is a very bright rich blue and again down by the border just add a little bit of that. Now underneath here is of course going to be in shadow so I'm going to add a little bit there too. Lastly, we'll use the um, Indotharum Blue and we'll just push a tiny bit more of a shadow under where this bit of blob of um, snow is overhanging here. Just so it pops out a little bit, gives it more depth. Maybe a tiny bit down here. Go easy with this colour, you just want to give the, a little suggestion of the darkest shadow in the snow. We'll finish this bit off here which she's sitting on. Now if you remember we've already done the um, light thylo blue and the light cobalt turquoise here. So we just need to put in the helio blue reddish. These colours work really well together. The, uh, I think the, um, it's probably one of the brightest combinations of blue that I've come up with. I think that's why it works so well with snow. Just underneath the tail as well. I might go over with the light phyllo blue again. Just to make it, I'll push it down a bit and get some nice 
bluey richness out of it. I'm pushing fairly firmly now to seal in the colours and possibly even go over again with the light cobalt turquoise. This is where you as an artist or colourist sort of steps back, looks at your picture and think okay it just needs a little bit more of this or a little bit more of that. And that will become easier as you become more knowledgeable about how to colour. Lastly I'm going to pick up the endotharian and give that border just a little bit of darkness there. I'm only using a touch. There we go. And that is how I colour my snow. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for joining me once again. And um, I will keep going on this picture. And you can keep going on whatever colouring adventure you're currently on. And I will see you next time. Happy colouring! Hope you're enjoying any colouring adventures that you are currently on and until next time, happy colouring! <laughs>